Hey everybody, big welcome back. Today we are flying in Burlington, Ontario. Somewhere I've flown before out to ships, so this morning I'm sitting there laying in bed at like 6.30 in the morning, couldn't sleep, and thought, hey, you know what? Maybe it's a nice day for a fly, so then I go and I look at my Before You Fly app, and I was like, oh shit, it is nice out, it's only like five kilometer an hour winds. So I was like, yeah, let's go see if there's a ship, because I saw one last night when I went over the skyway if you're like what's the skyway let me stop and show you that big bridge right there and so i've flown over to there a bunch of times as well one time actually when they had like a suicidal dude up on top um which was you know it was interesting obviously it's not a good thing but it was interesting to say the least so we are gonna fly over to this ship now, obviously, I don't know the name of the ship yet, but you can actually go online and Google the name of the ship, and there's plenty of websites that will tell you everything about the ship. So once you have the name, you can go and see the name, and you can see where it's from, what it's hauling, what it's doing. You can follow it around the world if you want, kind of like flight radar, um, which is basically the same thing for airplanes. You can see where airplanes are in the world and see what they're up to. But we will see uh first of all if we can get over to the ship and i've got to be careful i've got my return to home set at 45 feet so i believe the bridge in there is going to be over 45 feet so i probably won't circle around the ship like i used to do with my mavic pro but uh we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see how range wise also this is probably where i flew one of my furthest distance flights i flew from here and went i've got a little aircraft interference there probably just gain a little height um anyway like 5.7 kilometers or something like that which is a pretty good distance that was back when i first got my mavic pro all right thought i heard a boat in the water there but i guess it was just a car going back behind me here so what do we have we have Canada. I'm trying to read this, guys. Sorry. Losing video, so I better slow down and lift up. We're going to go ahead and cancel. There we go. We got our video back. So, yeah, it's a, sh it's a shame. That's my only real complaint with this Mavic Mini is the signal issues. Let's try adjusting the antennas a little more. And seeing if that helps. Sometimes I wonder if pointing them down, like it says point them facing up. Nah. Facing them out to it's probably the best, but so I'm not getting great range from here apparently. Let's cancel. I know we have nothing to run into where I am, so probably create a little height and that might allow me to go a little further nope maybe just where I am I'm getting a lot of interference or something I'm not really sure like I said I've flown with my Mavic Pro here so many times and I get great signal but uh, Mavic Mini not so much so, yeah, I've got signals still, but I was really hoping to get up and over it and stuff. So, we'll keep pushing our limits. I did a calibration here before I actually took off, so we should be uh, good here. Sorry, guys. Aircraft interference again. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get any closer. That's too bad. I was really looking forward to it. Let's see. Well, we'll see what we're doing. I know I'm not going to hit anything, so if I lose signal from where I am. All right. At least we're getting a little bit better signal here. 
I don't know where the antennas are in this drone. Maybe they're towards the side or something. You'd figure it'd be towards the back, though, to give you your best range. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't even go any closer because, like, just can't risk it. Oh, what do we got on the side there? Sorry, I just got to wait for my video feed to catch up. Oh, what a pain in the ass. I might try the signal boosters. I tried them before with the um, Phantom Pro. Oh. What do we got going on here? Some kind of a little boat. Now, it's possible that there's signals coming off that ship causing me to have some kind of uh, signal issues as well, right? Oh, big swan just flew over me. That's cool. Sounded uh, almost like a like prop wash on off a helicopter blade. So, we'll see what we can do. I'm trying to be careful here. I don't want to get anywhere that I guess ultimately if I lose signal the video signal cuts out before the communication signal on these so ultimately if that happens you just hold up on the stick for a little bit that way you know you're clearing whatever it is I cannot tell what's all over that ship the little ship I already know the large one's going to be a bulk carrier and that little one I have no idea there's somebody on there though hello movie star I don't imagine he hears the drone because it's pretty quiet. I do have a video on my channel called uh, DJI or whatever says hello to seamen or something like that. And uh, that's where the dudes on the ship like waved at me. And I've got quite a bit of ship videos. So you have to actually, if you like this, you should check out some of the other videos. Yeah, we're just going to do a nice little pass here and I'm going to work my way back. Just a quick video. Because I'm actually getting sprinkles where I'm standing. And these things can stand a little sprinkle, but there we go. It's from Montreal. There's the info. And the little Mavic Mini is such a capable drone. Except for the range. Like, I really hope that DJI figures out a Mavic Mini 2. We're going to go ahead and cancel. I don't actually like, um, I've turned away from the ship here. I don't like using return to home that much. I prefer to fly myself back. Just, um, I don't know. I like to save that for an actual emergency. So I'm just going to keep hitting cancel on the return to home. I've got this. Thank you very much anyway, DJI. And we can uh, do a nice coming away shot, I guess. So right now everyone is in like self-isolation here. So I'm in a park with nobody else around me. And uh, what a weird time in the world. Um, I got to tell you, it's kind of weird just standing here talking to my phone because I'm doing screen recorder for the voice. Um... Which I never understood how these people do it, like YouTube vloggers and stand out in front of everyone talking like that. I find it weird just standing in a park talking alone and nobody's even around. But I'm trying to work past that and uh, try to do that maybe a few times for you guys. So if you like this kind of a video kind of where I'm narrating as I'm flying, just do me a favor and put that in the comments just so I know if I get some feedback. Because if, if people like it, then I'll uh, actually continue to do it. But if not, I don't want to bother more or less holy shit what is up bud yeah where'd you go i'm still flying backwards here come on there he is <laughs> that's cool they like it yes <laughs> that's awesome i'm not too worried about them flying into the drone I don't think they really care and if they do I guess it's going down like a champ getting hit by a seagull is kind of cool I guess 
And that's, that is crazy. I've never had seagulls do that. And like, I've flown around a lot of seagulls. I guess I should look at the land now quickly. So we're gonna stop. Okay, I just wanted to see how far I actually was. Um, bring up my little mini map here. And then I'm gonna continue flying in backwards just because I like doing that. And that way we can watch these seagulls, see if they keep coming at the drone. Yeah, let's, we're still coming backwards. Come on guys, come back. Hopefully I didn't scare them off by stopping and they're like, what the hell kind of bird is that? Let's, that's not it, this way. We're slowly, slowly getting there. Oh, I tell you, I can't wait for summer. Uh, go flying around the boats at the beach and whatever. I'm just going to turn around so I can see where exactly I am. And this is a beautiful area, by the way, where I am. There's like golf course over there, but it's under construction right now. And it's all like big mansions, which is why I play the lottery so that we can get one of those and kind of up our video content. And there's me in this park. And there's my truck, and you'll see me kind of standing by the gate. And that'll pretty much wrap it up. So I'm not going to make this a long video because I've got to go and drink my coffee. Oh, there's some trees there. I can't see that well, actually, just because of glare, so... I will go ahead and cut the video feed. All right, thanks for watching, guys.